Hello, Dr. Jerome Fryer here. I wanted to share with you a concept on spinal stability, spinal robustness, uh, and giving the body a chance to heal the anatomical tissues without continuing to aggravate the structures. I did a silly thing. I noticed there was a minor leak on my motorbike, a minor oil leak. So I was excited to try and find where the leak was coming from and I rubbed my head on uh, a hot exhaust and it seared my head. That was about a week ago. Um, but it's been healing nicely and one, I just wanted to take this opportunity because one of the things that Dr. Stuart McGill talks about is how you don't want to continue to pick the scab um, when it comes to identifying the pain triggers and giving it an opportunity to heal. Um, see, this is healing nicely, but you know, it's ready to pick, but I'm not gonna pick it because it's, it's doing well. So when it comes to the spine, there are several anatomical structures that you want to, um, you, you wanna give these structures an opportunity to heal. So for example, if there's sheer instability or if, if the disc is shearing in flexion, for example, every time somebody bends for an ex you know, as an example, and they feel this sort of, sh th this pain in their back, it may be related to the facets shearing and disturbing the hyaline cartilage and not allowing it to, to heal. Um, it's like picking the scab. You don't want to pick the scab. So you want to find a position, a neutral position, and you want to bend in a way that stabilizes this so it has an opportunity to heal. That's just one example. Uh, perhaps your pain trigger is the end plate, and there's an end plate disruption where the end plate has been disturbed through a Schmorl's node or there's hypersensitivity, uh, you know, in the case of uh, a thing called emotic changes. Uh, maybe you, maybe that's your pain trigger, or maybe your pain trigger is a disc bulge. So when you lift in, uh, you lift a certain amount too, like a certain weight too much, the disc will bulge and push up against the nerve root. So the big thing is, is that you want to identify your pain trigger, figure it out, have somebody help you figure it out, and then you want to move in a way that allows the tissue to heal because everything is in a constant state of anabolic or a building or everything is building slowly like skin. Well, I was gonna say hair, but not in my case. Uh, but everything is grow So you wanna give it a chance, whether it's the hyaline cartilage or the end plate, the disc or an annular fissure, get somebody to figure it out, avoid your pain triggers and don't pick the scab.